uh this video all right so the first question we have this is page number 103 on your ncrt exercise 6.2 see what it is saying in this figure find the value of x and y and then show that ab is parallel to cd so i can clearly say see x with this 50 degrees forming a linear pair so i can say sir x plus 50 degree is equal to 180 degree because it is a linear pair so from here x is equal to 130 degree Similarly, y is, will be equal to 130 degree because of vertically opposite angle. So, y is equal to 130 degree because of vertically opposite angles. And beta, we can clearly see from these two parts, x and y are equal. And if angle x and angle y are equal to each other, they are also pair of interior alternate angle. So, if interior alternate angles are equal, lines will be parallel. So, I can say by converse of interior alternate angle theorem i can say ab is parallel to cd all right so whenever you have to prove two lines parallel to each other always focus on using the converse theorems converse of corresponding converse of uh, interior alternate converse of exterior alternate converse of interior consecutive or converse of exterior consecutive all right now the next question coming to your way is this in figure 6.29, if AB is parallel to CD and CD is parallel to EF and Y is to Z is 3 is to 7, find X. Okay, beta. Now, see, if AB and CD are parallel, CD and EF are parallel, so I can clearly say AB, CD, EF all are parallel to each other. All are parallel to each other. Also, let's say, ki, sir, if this angle is Z, I can say this angle also is going to be equal to Z because of corresponding angle. Corresponding angle. And now I can say that Y and Z are a linear pair. So Y plus Z must be equal to 180 degree because they are linear pair. So I can say, see, Y and Z are in the ratio 3 is to 7. So Y I can take it as 3A, Z I can take it as 7A. So 3A plus 7a is equal to 180 so 10a is equal to 180 that means a is equal to 18 so if a is equal to 18 y will be equal to 3 into 18 which is equal to 54 degree z will be equal to 7 into 18 which will be equal to 126 degrees now i need to find out the value of x but i'll see clearly ab and ef are parallel to each other this angle X and this angle Z are a pair of interior alternate angle. So I can say X is equal to Z is equal to 126 degree because they are a pair of interior alternate angle. So from here we can say value of X will be equal to 126 degree. All right. So this is all beta in this session. Remember you can join Vedantu's pro subscription courses for solving your doubts or covering your syllabus or doing the revision in a systematic manner. All these things you can do at Vedantu Pro subscription where all the awesome master teachers are going to take care of your classes for their respective subjects. And all this, this Vedantu Pro subscription will include the whole subject, will include all the subjects. Maths, physics, chemistry, biology, assist English, everything will be covered in that part. So for registration, before you register, don't forget to use GP Pro, GP Pro code use karo beta. तुमको मिल जाएगा 20 परसेंटेज ऑफ जीपी प्रो से तुमको मिल जाएगा 20 परसेंटेज ऑफ तो ये तो बेटा तुम्हारी प्राइस रहेगी तो काफी अफोर्डेबल है जल्दी से रजिस्टर कर लो बेटा इसके लिए ठीक है तो आज के लिए इतना ही बेटा मिलते हैं वापस नेक्स्ट क्लास में प्लीज डोंट फॉरगेट टू लाइक द वीडियो अगर सलूशन समझ में आ गया है शेयर करो फ्रेंड्स के साथ में एंड सब्सक्राइब टू द चैनल इफ यू आर न्यू हियर थैंक यू सो मच आई विल सी यू सून बाय बाय साय हमारा खुदा हाफिज टू ऑल ऑफ यू बाय बाय